Today we're going to be doing the 2019 snare drum solo for all district and all state bands. This year's solo is Sarone number 29 from the Portraits in Rhythm book. One, two, three. Hi, I'm Rick Dior. I'm professor of percussion at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Today we're going to be doing the 2019 snare drum solo for all district and all state bands. This is for grades 11 and 12. This year's solo is Sarone number 29 from the Portraits in Rhythm book. So you already heard me play this solo. We're going to talk about a few things that I did and um, some stickings as well. Let's talk a little about the sticks that you should use and the drum that you should use. Uh, I'm using a stick with a, a wide, long tip because this is a uh, kind of a very stately sounding piece. It's in a slow tempo. You want a really big sound. So I use a bigger tip on uh, my stick. And the stick's not real heavy. It's probably about uh, maybe, you know, 74, 75 grams total. Um, so any stick works around that, but I would definitely suggest a bigger uh, head on the stick so you can get a, a bigger sound. Now, as far as the snare drum goes, um, you can you really use anything uh, that you have, but I would suggest, obviously, an orchestral snare drum. You might say, what makes it an orchestral snare drum? Well, basically, it's the snares that make it an orchestral snare drum. You see, this is some wire and some cable, and actually, even some curly snares there, which are nice for your, for your rolls. Uh, this is just a regular old uh, Pearl Philharmonic snare drum. It's made of aluminum. Uh, it's a good mix between bright... Uh, sounds of metal and, and a little darker than, than most, uh, like a steel drum would be. So a wood drum would work good for this too. So you don't want the snares to be uh, too loose because what'll happen is um, there's a lot of articulate passages in this piece and you'll lose that if the snares are too loose. So that's where that cable uh, and that wire really helps out. So those are the drum, that's the drum that I suggest, and also it's a, it's a seven inch drum. You could use a, a six and a half, or, but I like a bigger drum, again, for this piece, it's a big sounding snare drum solo. Sarone has some interesting things to say. If you get the uh, Portraits and Rhythm Study Guide, which I suggest, uh, this is a classic book, everybody should own it. And he makes some statements in here. If you don't have the book, I'll go over them very quickly. Um, it's a sarabande, so it's a stately, dignified dance uh, in a slow triple meter. That's basically what the piece is. And the first line, the, the uh, accents on the rolls should be played very tenuto. In other words, long, not a real sharp accent. It should be a big, thick ac accent with some weight. So pay attention to that, all the rolls that are accented, not too much on that. Now line three has a passage with 30 second notes. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da For those who want to play those very clean and tight, uh, definitely 30 second notes and maybe even closer to 60 fourths towards that. Uh, very tight, not triplets, not ba -ba -da -ba -da. So it's very a very tight, clean sound. Also, you might want to play that on the edge of the drum because it's more sensitive and it makes it easier to pl play quietly. Later on, there's a very soft section, let's say line six, 
with those uh, drags. And again, that's pianissimo, two Ps. So very, very close to the edge of the drum. That'll help a lot. And incidentally, those drags should be played closed. I play them very tight and very close. So you don't have to hear every note in this case. Sometimes you want to hear every note in a drag. But in this case, they're very soft. And it's just an elongation of that eighth note. Zup, 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 zup. Now, there's also a lot of dynamics in this piece. And you really need to bring those out. That's going to be um, very important for you to do. So please pay attention to those. And since it's such a slow tempo, you're going to want to use a metronome when you practice. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to post another recording of me playing with a click track. Uh, the click will be kind of on the right side, the playing will be on the left side. So you can hear how it relates to that click. So since it's so slow, there can be some timing issues with this. I do a lot of one-handed stickings on the eighth note, so they'll sound more even. So good luck on the solo, and we'll see you next time. One, two...